Have you ever wondered if your morning routine is holding you back? Well, in today's video, I tried out the internet's most productive morning routines and put them to the test to see if it's worth waking up at 5, 4, and even 3 a.m. Stay tuned to find out what I discovered. Good morning, you guys. I'm so warm in bed right now. The last thing I want to do is get up. But I'm looking at the morning routine right now for our first step. I'm also not going on my phone, by the way. This is just to look at the morning routine. The first step is to wake up early. We definitely did that today. A benefit to waking up early is reduced stress because there's not a rush throughout your morning. Very true. Waking up early is honestly like one of the hardest things ever for me because I am such a sleeper. Like I love my beauty sleep and waking up early is such a challenge for me, but it's a challenge that I kind of love because it like fuels a fire in me that I never knew I needed. I just feel so productive and good when I do it. But naturally, I'm definitely a sleepy girl. Like I could sleep until like 10 o'clock every day if I could. But anyways, okay, let's get out of bed. I do step number two. No, we gotta get. For this next step of the morning routine, we have to recall our dreams. Recalling your dreams allows you to process your subconscious thoughts and allots the opportunity to be mindful and focus on the self. I never recall my dreams. Like I just have dreams, wake up and usually forget about them unless they're really weird and they stand out. But I have to think for a second here. Also, ice rolling just feels so good right now. The discipline that it takes me to not get back in bed is very, very large. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I literally had a dream that it was my birthday and for some reason I was like in a warehouse that warehouse was my house you know when something in your dream is like it's yours but it doesn't look like yours that's what that was so I was in a warehouse my sister was there and she said happy birthday to me and then my mom came home and she didn't say happy birthday to me and I was sad and then my sister got mad at her for that oh my god and then I went to sleep on you know like in those warehouses how they have those like industrial shelves that's where I went to sleep on <laughs> I'm not even making this up guys and then I, we went out to like five different restaurants to celebrate my birthday for some reason everybody was doing like these drugs and there was crocodiles and we were in florida oh my god it's just coming back to me people had to cross the swamp that is so weird anyways that was me recalling my dreams so there you have it <laughs> that was so weird okay guys so the next step of this morning routine is to make your bed making your bed is a great way to complete a task first thing in the morning it could set you up for success so i usually already do this because it's something that i've implemented that i used to never do actually and even just getting that task done first thing in the morning feels so good and i hate coming back into the bedroom later on in the day and having not having the bed made it just doesn't look clean it doesn't look neat and having a nice put together bed always feels better just in general and then it helps you get into a good momentum in the morning so let's make our bed step is to drink a glass of water a great way to start your morning and to ensure you stay hydrated throughout the day i second that cheers the one thing though that in the morning i need to drink room temperature water cold water is just too much of a shock to my system and i hate the feeling of getting too cold you know i keep the jugs of filtered water out on the counter so that they're not in the fridge it's like my morning water basically I've actually been lacking drinking water in the morning because I usually just drink my bone broth but having at least just like a little cup of water or a little glass is so beneficial because sometimes during the day I'll go like hours without drinking water but then it'll make me feel a little better that I had some in the morning already <laughs> So the next step of this morning routine is to take vitamins. Vitamins ensure that we provide our body with essential nutrients that we might not receive from food. Very true. This always makes me feel so much better. So this is gonna be my form of vitamins today. So in the mornings, I've been obsessed with spraying this Beekeepers Naturals Propolis Throat Spray. This is a throat spray that proactively support your immune system. It also could be used to soothe a dry or sore throat when you're under the weather. And it also combats free radical damage 
in the body you guys know i love natural health products and that's why i'm so excited to be working with beekeepers naturals because they combine modern science with natural medicine to create clean and effective products that actually work so if you guys don't know what propolis is it's actually what bees use to protect their hive it actually fights germs and it supports your immune system with antioxidants minerals vitamins vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d and it has over 300 beneficial compounds so this stuff is good good it's also studied to be antimicrobial and antifungal all of beekeepers natural products are all made with clean ingredients no preservatives no artificial colors they're also third-party tested to make sure that they're pesticide free which is really good for us and it's also good for the bees they make sure to uphold sustainable beekeeping they make sure that their bees are far away from harmful chemicals and they also make sure that their hives are not over harvested this is such a good natural way to boost your immunity give yourself some daily vitamins if you guys want to shop them you could use the link in my description and you can use my code mbento20 to get yourself some money off but this has been a great addition to my morning routine i'm gonna take some right now it tastes so good it tastes like honey i just made my way over to the couch which i usually don't do in the morning but our next step is meditation meditation is the practice of spending time with a mental calm studies have shown it can improve mental health and clarity and allow you to check in with your body's internal needs i just put my heated blanket on and this is a recipe for almost disaster for me it's gonna just be so hard for me to get off of the couch now but we're trying out these morning routines so i have to do it but i do really love meditation and i have been wanting to do it more often the morning is just really hard for me to do it because i tend to fall asleep so i'm going to try my best to stay awake and we'll see how it goes also the sun has been rising so much earlier recently i just noticed a huge difference within the past like, couple of weeks and wow like it's already starting to rise a little bit which is crazy Anyways, okay. let's meditate <laughs> into the car because the next step is to exercise exercise is pivotal for a happy heart and good health many billionaires prefer to exercise in the morning to help keep stress levels down throughout the day i personally like doing this too it's either i work out in the morning or i don't work out at all there is no way i can get myself to the gym at night like there's no way because after 5 p.m for me i start to shut down and i start to get tired i start to Put my pjs on and want to go to bed and that's like my real relaxation time of the day i love getting my workout done first thing because it releases endorphins then you just feel so accomplished comment down below if you guys like working out better in the morning or at night i used to be a midday type of workout gal but i hate that nagging feeling that's like oh you have to go to the gym later you have to do this later i'd rather just get it done now so i'm not thinking about it the entire day okay anyways yeah so let's go going to the gym i'm still so tired that meditation made me like 20 times more tired i swear to god i don't know how how people do that okay let's go to the gym Next thing on the list is to take a cold shower. Taking a cold shower can be beneficial because it activates your neurons and promotes good circulation. As you approach the summer months, maybe consider trying a cold shower. I've been dreading this all morning. Like this is actually torturous for me, but we're doing it for the video and to really fully assess this morning routine. Oh my God. I've done a cold shower like a couple times before. It's not fun. It is not fun. Let me tell you that. Okay. I will let you guys know how it is after I get out, but wish me luck. It's so much harder than it seems. Like try taking a cold shower and then come back to this video and let me know how you did. Okay. Let's, let's attempt at taking one here. Oh. 
right, this way is cold. I guess I don't even need to wait to heat it up so I can just go in. That cold shower was horrible, torturous every second of it. But you know what? I actually feel really energized right now. So I think that says something. I know cold showers and like cold baths and stuff are really, really beneficial, but they're just so hard to do. It's like waking up in the morning. So hard to do, but you never regret it, you know, because it makes you feel good. Going on to the ninth thing of this morning routine is to make tea, which is so random. Your morning beverage is ritualistic. Consider tea as a great way to stimulate your senses whilst not exhausting your adrenaline grams from caffeine okay i guess we're not doing caffeine today i'm gonna boil the water and then we'll make a tea this is so random because i never make tea in the morning i'm always like making a matcha or a coffee something with caffeine in it i don't have too much caffeine a day like i always stick to one beverage and that's either matcha or coffee i have never just like willingly made myself a tea in the morning i always correlate teas with nighttime and before bed let's make some tea i'm gonna see what kind of teas i have let's boil the water baby <laughs> So I'm gonna go for this everyday detox tea. I love this brand, Traditional Medicinals. They have the best teas and they're all organic. But yeah, I'm gonna do this one because it seems like more of a daytime tea, so. So I got my tea and my journal because the next step of the morning routine is to write in your journal. Writing in your journal provides another wonderful opportunity to check in with yourself, see where your stressors are and how to navigate them. So I'm gonna do some gratitude journaling and then I'll also write a little bit as well, just like normal journaling. While drinking my tea, it is like really hot. So I kind of have to wait till it cools down. It smells good. This is just so odd for me to be drinking tea at this hour. I don't like it. But I guess billionaires, they're not too fond of caffeine because it's really true how caffeine does give you that spike and then you kind of just crash so it's like what's the point let's do some drill Next thing is to create a to-do, to feel, and to be list. Planning to-do lists are essential. Studies show that when you write things down, you are more likely to complete them. Moreover, lists can keep you organized throughout the day. Therefore, Week recommends also writing a to feel and to be list. He uses the metaphor to be a thermostat, not a thermometer. A thermometer reacts and changes to its environment. In comparison, a thermostat is set in advance. Consider using this mindset to be active, what you want to feel and who you want to be. I actually really like that. I've never heard that comparison before. And I really think that is accurate. There could be things that happen throughout our day that we react to. We let kind of ruin our day and affect our mood. And so it's like if you make a point at the beginning of the day saying, I want to feel happy today then if something bad happens to you like a little roadblock since you already kind of program your mind like no today i'm going to be happy you may have a better chance of overlooking that i used to fall victim to letting things ruin my day so often and i would get mad at every little thing but i realized it's all in your mindset if you let things affect you like that then that is all up to you and that's your problem but it's your choice whether you let it affect you and ruin your day or you let it just happen feel the emotions and then move on from it so i really 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 like that i always make sure of making a to-do list every day because I have had such success with that and I feel like it really does make me super productive, but I never make a to feel and to be list. I feel like it's definitely something I should do more often. Next thing on the agenda today is to read. Studies have shown that reading after exercising is optimal because your brain is more stimulated. I never knew that, but I have recently been reading Atomic Habits and I've been loving it. I make a point of reading at least like half an hour a day and I love reading a self-help book slash informative learning book in the morning. And then I save reading fiction for the nighttime. The thing is with reading is if you don't make a point of doing it, you're never gonna do it. You just kind of have to dedicate and make a goal and make it a habit to read X amount of pages or x amount of minutes per day and actually like write it down in your to-do list and then you'll actually do it i always get distracted like instead of reading i'll go on my phone but if i actually make a point of reading i actually end up doing it so i think i'm just gonna read for like 10 minutes because i kind of want to get into my day this morning routine has been so extensive so let's do a little bit of reading and then we'll move on to the next part Okay, we're almost 
done this billion dollar morning routine, but the next thing is to make a smoothie. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and a smoothie provides the opportunity to get numerous nutrients from fruits, vegetables, protein, and fiber all in one meal. Let's make this smoothie. I'm just gonna do a simple protein shake. I'm not gonna do too much, but I'll blend it up with like a banana or something and maybe some spinach. <laughs> step is start your day. Finally, after you've completed these tasks, there is no doubt that you will feel accomplished. The idea is to set your day up right so that you are continuously productive. So my final review of this billion dollar morning routine is a solid three out of five stars. Yes, it is a super productive morning routine, but I'm not sure how productive you could be afterwards because you're going to be left with absolutely no time in the day. This morning routine took me so long and it just seemed very extra to do and sustain on a daily basis basis and I actually ended up being not as productive this day because the morning routine took half my day. Good morning you guys. It's bright and early today. It is just past 4 30. Not as tired as I thought I would be. Get honestly I don't really notice the difference between now and 5 30 so does it really matter? No. Would have appreciated an extra hour of sleep. But we're gonna see this extra hour makes me more productive this morning. So that's gonna be very interesting. This is the first time going on my phone today. So first thing is wake up at 4.30. We just did that. And then number two is drink water. Damn, so I don't even have to make the bed today. In a way, I feel like that could be a little bit quote unquote more productive because you're getting up quicker. It's one less task, I guess, <laughs> before you get to work. I don't know. That's interesting. It was weird not making the bed because I do it every single morning. I mean, maybe they're onto something here, so I have to try it out. Anyways, okay. Okay. thing on the list after drinking the water is to set three most important things in brackets MITs for today. Interesting. I've never done it like that before. I guess this is kind of like a mini to-do list but you're setting like your three goals for the day which I really like. Let's do that right now. I just got my journal right here. We can write them down and then I'll look at them throughout the day. thing on the agenda is to eat breakfast and read. I guess that's my time to make my bone broth because if I eat too big of a meal before exercising, I feel very, very sick. So I always have to eat after. Eating breakfast to me like this early in the morning is always my bone broth because it sustains me from our workout and it's like the perfect medium. So let's make that. And then while we drink it, we'll start reading. I also really liked doing the MITs because I feel like that kind of bubbles down your to-do list in a way, which just makes it super straightforward. of this morning routine is to exercise it says you can run bike swim strength or yard work interesting and it says or meditate it's either exercising or meditation which is interesting because maybe this morning routine is kind of like look meditating and working out is basically the same thing because if you're doing yard work if you're running that's kind of like a meditation in itself and even when i do my workout classes i do feel like i just got out of a meditation because you're not really thinking the whole time you're just kind of doing which is basically what meditation is you clear your head with your thoughts and you just focus on your breathing which is kind of like working out so i've never actually seen it in that aspect so that's a 
really interesting that it said that so for this morning routine i really like i haven't done too many things you know it's not overwhelming i feel like i'm getting to my workout class at a good time um i was reading for quite a bit of time and i really enjoy just like cuddling up on the couch in the heated blanket and reading it's a lot better than doing meditation first thing meditation i basically just put myself to sleep versus reading it kind of really catches my attention and it's a nice way to enjoy my bone broth so i really liked that i actually wanted to keep reading but i have to leave for my workout class i have a power core class today at oxygen yoga and fitness i actually have a free class with them so if you guys go to my instagram and go to my highlights where i have my health highlight i give you guys my code and how to book on there so you can check oxygen yoga and fitness out but yeah i'm really excited for today's class let's head out let's go work out and then do the rest of this morning routine this is not a very extensive one but i am really liking it so far and i'm also not too tired even though i woke up earlier today i'm not too tired i'm feeling pretty good and it's probably because i got to bed at a really decent time so that obviously plays into it okay let's go I say we think different I, 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 I see By your heart I see Come baby, come, come try me Who you gonna love if you run by me, love? Ready? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl Love the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, girl Baby, call me, I too fly, I get burned the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fee. Got your body at the tight and heat. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. Yeah, I bought that lot. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. So overall, I would give this morning routine a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked how I had a lot more time to myself this morning to just like sit down and read and I wasn't rushing at all to my workout class. So that is a huge benefit of waking up just that half hour to an hour earlier. I also really liked how this morning routine wasn't too compact. It was straight to the point and I still felt super productive during it. And this day, I also had a really productive day. It felt like this morning routine took the perfect amount of time and I liked that after my workout i could just start my day and i didn't necessarily have to do anything else taking away that one star though because i would however have appreciated that extra hour of sleep and i don't necessarily need that much time in the morning In all honesty, I have no idea how I got myself out of bed. I'm awake right now. I'm so tired because this feels like the middle of the night for me. I have never done this before. So people say that waking up at 3 a.m. changed their life. They continue to do it every day. And I'm like, really? How? I'd love to know because this doesn't feel too good. When I think back to the summer, the earliest the sun rises is just past five. So I feel like that is the universe saying nobody should wake up before that unless like you have to for work or something. But before that should be illegal. Like this time is just mm -mm. if i went back to bed right now once my head hits the pillow i would be completely out i even did get a good sleep because i went to bed at around nine so that is not great but like i couldn't get myself to fall asleep earlier than that because that's just what my body's used to i mean it's not like i got two hours of sleep you know i couldn't even make the bed this morning or talk to you guys in the room because joel's still sound asleep i don't want to wake him up by the time he wakes up i'm probably already gonna be like leaving to the gym but i'm very excited to see if this is quote unquote life changing like everybody says i remember back in the day i had to wake up at 3 a.m when i was in the film industry for set and i had to do it for like a week because my call the call times were so early by day like three four and five every single morning i was this close to puking i was gurping like i'm not kidding you because my body was so just exhausted and didn't know how to function i was literally puking it's like basically feeling like you have just really bad jet lag you feel so sick or at least i did so actually wait i literally told you guys i never woke up at three before i have just not for a youtube video so i'm not gonna be following like any sort of structure today i'm just gonna do my own morning routine and then we'll evaluate this time Time and how I liked it. So anyways, let's get our morning slash night started, I guess. Wish me luck.
would sometimes take my book and read in the morning, but if I sit down on the couch right now, that's it. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm asleep for the next five hours. So that's a big no-no for me. Like I'm not gonna let myself go on the couch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut down my morning routines today. Just get ready for the gym and we're just gonna leave. And hopefully by the time I start working out and like walking, running on the treadmill, I can wake myself up a bit because I'm still tired. Like I tried to turn on as many lights as possible. How do people actually do this? I just need to get in my workout clothes and we just need to leave the house. Like that's what has, has to happen for this morning routine to be fulfilled. I could really understand how this could be obviously a super productive routine 3 a.m that is ridiculous and then you can have all your stuff done like your morning done by like 5 5 30 6 so like that is insane i'm just gonna take my throat spray this stuff tastes so good let's go up get changed let's do this we got this i need this motivation that's why i'm pep talking myself right now so okay let's go I just got in the car. I am so proud of myself for doing this. So proud of myself. I challenge you guys to wake up at three and see how it feels. It doesn't feel so great. Actually, people do this for fun, so I can't say anything. Five is like the absolute earliest I think I'd ever wake up for my routine. Things can change, but like for the foreseeable future, not going any earlier than five. But I guess I really can't fully assess until after I finish this workout. Because who knows, what if this just like absolutely blows my mind and I'm like, wow, I was so much more productive today. I'm gonna do this forever. Who knows what can happen? So we're gonna make my way over to the gym. This is feels so weird working out this early, but it's gonna be so nice being done like so freaking early. Let's go do this workout. from the gym is currently 7 a.m. I spent so long at the gym because I'm like, oh, I have so much extra time, which was actually nice because I walked from the treadmill for way longer, got really good cardio in, and then I stretched for a lot longer. So I was at the gym for like, basically two hours the time flies by but i just had to pick up a couple things at the grocery store on the way home so i just got some bone broth but i'm like pretty tired right now i can definitely take a shower and go back to bed but i'm also super hungry weirdly enough because it's pretty early and it's so trippy to me right now that it's this early but i think i'm just gonna make breakfast and then clean up breakfast take a shower i'm gonna make my yam bowl that i make all the time with eggs because i'm craving that i always crave that it's just so good let's get me making breakfast guys <laughs> I had to give this morning routine a two out of five stars. It just does not seem sustainable for me. After I took the shower, I went back to bed and I slept for at least three hours because I was so exhausted. I also ended up being way less productive this day because I slept through most of the day after my morning routine. So it was kind of counterintuitive and there was no point of me waking up that early because I didn't make use of the time anyways. It felt like this was just middle of the night vibes when I woke up and and it wasn't my favorite thing, but even after getting a good amount of sleep, it just really didn't feel right waking up this early. I definitely don't think it's worth even trying <laughs> unless you have a lot of stuff to get done that day. You would need a lot of caffeine to power you through. But anyways, that is why it is only getting two stars. 
for the last morning routine today we are doing the ultimate tiktok morning routine that's supposed to master your day so it's the perfect morning routine for a productive day the first thing to do is to wake up self-explanatory we just did that it says to do this ideally with the sunrise alarm clock which i wish i had like i've been wanting one for the longest time i don't know why i haven't gotten myself one but it is kind of getting lighter now anyways like we're tr transitioning into the summer months so i feel like if i'm gonna get one now is not even the time but next winter i really do want to get a sunrise alarm clock because i've heard such good things about them i am honestly feeling pretty well rested today in comparison to earlier this week so i'm doing great right now get out of bed get this routine started and see how productive this can make us <laughs> The morning routine is oral health tongue scrape oil pull and brush teeth thank god i actually have never oil pulled before but i'm really excited to try it today because i've been wanting to do it for the longest time i've just been honestly kind of forgetting about it and i do have a tongue scraper so i already tongue scrape every day and obviously brush my teeth but oil pulling is new for me and i really I've wanted to try it out, so I'm excited because I would love to possibly integrate it into my morning routine. So you're supposed to oil pull for like minimum five minutes. Basically what it is, is you switch coconut oil in your mouth before you brush your teeth because it's supposed to collect all the bad bacteria in your mouth and then you spit it out. Apparently it has, it has so many oral benefits. I'm going to try it. Apparently it reduces bad breath and all this stuff. So I'll tongue scrape, oil pull, and then while I'm oil pulling, I'll do the bed because that's the next step of this morning routine. So instead of just sitting here for five minutes, tongue scraping also has so many benefits. So if you guys don't have one, I will link mine down below on Amazon. But 10 out of 10 suggest you get one because once you start, you can't go back. And it's so good for your oral hygiene. Cheers. I don't know if this is going to feel gross or not, though. <laughs> cleanest it's ever felt like i feel so clean like i don't even know how to describe it because like i just went to the dentist or something 10 out of 10 would recommend trying it i hate morning mouth like i i, I hate it i need to brush my teeth right away but this actually like made me feel clean before even having to brush my teeth so i think i'm definitely gonna continue doing this like that was good i'm gonna leave probably a little tub of coconut oil and a spoon somewhere in my bathroom so that i can easily just do it every morning and apparently it has so many benefits so can't really go wrong so definitely recommend Alongside getting that natural light, it says hydration. The perfect opportunity to get your hydration in, kickstart your metabolism by sipping on a glass of lemon water and Celtic sea salt. So that's what I used to do all the time. I used to have Celtic salt and lemon water in the morning, but I kind of just stopped that. I don't know why. I wish it was sunny and summer right now so I can, you know, make my little water, go outside on the deck, and just enjoy the rays of the sun. Oh, I can't wait for summer, guys. I'm literally, I'm so excited. But we gotta make do with what we have now, so. Okay, so I got this organic fresh squeeze lemon juice and this is my favorite stuff because it makes it so much easier than having to manually squeeze lemons all the time. And since I use like lemon juice a lot, this just makes my life so much easier. So this is not from concentrate or anything. So it's just exactly the same thing as squeezing organic lemons anyways. So I think that's a lot actually. That is a lot. Okay, I think that is good. I'm bringing in my Celtic salt. I'm just gonna put like a pinch of that in. Celtic salt is supposed to be really good for hydration and replenishing your body's minerals in the morning. So I'd highly recommend getting it. It's so cheap for this whole bag. It was only like $5. It's really, really good for you. And there we go. Celtic lemon water ready to drink. This is just room temperature water that I use because I can't do cold water in the morning. And also room temperature water is so much better for you in the morning anyway. So cheers to Friday, guys. That's like the perfect ratio. Okay. 
Okay guys, all ready for my workout. I need to get out of the door ASAP because I'm running a little bit late, but this is a little workout fit for the day. This is from White Fox. My jacket's from Princess Polly, and then I put a headband on and I ended up wanting to put my hair in a bun just to get it out of my face and stuff. And I'm also not washing my hair today because it's super clean, I just washed it. So I wanted to make sure I get the least amount of sweat on it because in these classes, they're infrared heated at oxygen because I'm doing a matte Pilates class today. So they're super, super hot and you sweat a lot, which is amazing. Like it's a great detox for your body, but that also means that my hair gets pretty disgusting So putting it back in a headband like this kind of protects it and then also in a bun Just makes it out of my face and perfect ready to go because sometimes you're jumping and like moving around in these classes So anyways, that's the vibe for today. I actually have a lot of energy today. Let's go work out feeling good today All you wanna do is gas me How we end up in the backseat trying to get to the bag we on the same page, you the same way Only keep the fam around me So let me know what it's gonna be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing nothing? Moving too fast Candy paint with the windows all black Seats creme brulee, what they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money in the day We'll be up till six in the morning When the sunrise, will be on it Boy, I got five, you know it's all live Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' The next step of the morning routine is to have breakfast. So let's get making breakfast. Just made my breakfast. I just have a rice cake here and I hard boiled two eggs, mashed it together with salt and mayonnaise, and then put it on top of the rice cake with avocado underneath and some sriracha. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks so good. So overall, I would give this morning routine a five out of five star. This was honestly everything that I want in a morning routine and it really just aligned with me personally and my own and I just really enjoyed it. This one was by far the favorite morning routine that I did. I'm also gonna definitely implement the oil pulling that was in this routine. I also feel like this routine made me super productive afterwards because it didn't take me a million years to do. It was straightforward, right to the point, and I felt super good after doing it. After trying out all these different morning routines, what I've learned is that being productive doesn't stem from how early you wake up or how many things you can squeeze into your morning. It's all about finding a routine that truly fits into your lifestyle that can be sustainable. You want to make sure that you can enjoy your morning routine so it's best to do whatever that looks like for you and in turn that will make you feel way better and be more productive. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.